not be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we thank the Lord for a wonderful time in his presence, 168 non-stop hours of um, corporate prayers. And the truth of the matter is that testimonies has been coming. Um, you know, especially those that are, you know, in the area of healing. I'm not standing here to tell you stories. Testimonies have been coming, you know, without any shadow of doubt. And I know yours is in line also. I know some testimonies cannot come instantly, you know, but in the course of time, you will hear about them as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, we truly and sincerely thank God for, for, for uh, that wonderful time. And the question to us as a church is that what's next? You know, for 168 hours, we gathered here to make our petition known unto God. We prayed, we asked of him to do A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, um, which was a great and a wonderful thing. But if we look at it corporately together, it will be dysfunctional of us. Uh, to always just be on the asking, asking, asking from God. So the question to us now, even as we gather corporately to pray, what is next for us as a church? I believe what's next for us and the dimension that God will want us to do uh, is to do the bidding of God as well. Those of us who are parents, we understand how it can be. It's back to school time. Uh, your child says, I need this, I need that, I need that. You've bought everything for the child. And you get home, you say, get me a cup of tea. And he or she has an attitude. How will you feel? With such a child you know god has his own bidding also and the bidding of god is for what for souls that are lost you know it's very very important so it will be dysfunctional of us to feel that we will have a healthy church that only gathers to ask of god but god has his need as well the need of god is that for us as a church we should reach the lost souls i know pastor Faco had mentioned it and in view of that you know we gather together to have a prayer turn that we tag the provision of god so collectively for us as a church also we're using the remaining part of this summer to reach out to the lost souls and we've tagged it hello neighbor amen amen, amen? amen. please i need your energy this morning we've tagged it hello neighbor so please don't let us all, all, only be on the side of asking from god let's do the bidding of god as well many at times we pray god bless me god bless me god bless me many at times we don't need to pray that prayer we should just get and plug ourselves into what god's blessing is on and god will bless us god blesses when you reach out to lost souls so collectively the way we did our prayer thon we are doing the same thing with this outreach evangelism and because of that we're doing it for only four hours on each of the saturdays so this is coming saturday the 19th the following 26th and the second of um, september for four hours and we've broken it down into two slots to make it convenient for you 9 to 11 we do the first slots i believe the ushers have the slots you know 9 to 11 we have it you might say well i've never done this before i have a phobia i don't know what to say come for 30 minutes you will go through a training of how to effectively do this we want to do this collectively as a church and i know without any shadow of doubt we are going to have wonderful results in the mighty name of jesus so we've divided all the ministries in the church to these slots we need the cooperation of the hod's please encourage your members it's not only for church workers please you are here you are not a volunteer church worker it won't be too much for you to volunteer just two hours of your time even if it's only one slot that you can make during the course of that three weeks. So we need the cooperation of everybody to partake. Between 9 and 11, the first batch will take, we do their own section. And then 11 to 1 p.m., the second batch will. How are we going to do this? The True Love Care Ministry are going to be championing this course. And they've divided the whole church, you know, like I said, the workers and everything. So in the neighborhood that we are in, we want to go there and make an impact. This area has been mapped out. So when we come, a lot of logistics goes into place. Number one, if you come in for the 9 o'clock, we need you to come early in order to make the logistics plan work. Please, we need you to come early. We have vehicles that will convey you. We have people that will take you to the different locations and bring you back. And the members of the team also will always be available at the end of the service outside with their desk for those that are not workers. Let them know the time at the slot that you will come for and it will help us to be able to effectively plan it. Do I have a cooperation? Ah, uh, that's not good enough. Don't let it be always asking God, God, pray to God, pray to God. We human beings are the extension of the arms of God. God, the Bible says, is spirit. 
God will not physically come to do whatever he wants to do. Anything God will want to do, he relies on we as human beings. When he was going to deliver the children of Israelites, he sent Moses to go there. He sent David to go and help them from the hand of Goliath. Even with our own sin, when he knew that we needed to be redeemed and blood needed to be shed, he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to physically come and die for our sin. So please, make yourself available to be used of God. So please, this coming Saturday, 19th, 26th, and um, the 2nd of September, we are going to be reaching our neighborhood. So we need your help. We need your cooperation. It's a good thing to do. It's a honorable thing to do. And more importantly, it is a blessed thing to do. So please, we need your cooperation with this. And God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If we can please turn our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 28. For the few minutes that I have left, not too much, 